Hi everyone and welcome to this video. This is going to be a bit of a different video to what I usually do. Um, so sometimes when I make these videos I'll post them on YouTube of course and schedule them and then um, sometimes I'll write a post on Facebook and uh, include the link to the video and say this is my latest video something like that. And sometimes I get quite a lot of interest. Sometimes people will private message me and say something like wow that's that's interesting I wish I could do something like that or or I, I could never do that or something like that you know so um, I've decided I'm gonna make a video for absolute beginners and I'm gonna explain uh, what exactly I'm doing with these videos and I'm gonna show you how you can do it too um, but very simple so um, to start with I'm gonna show you what I've got here this is what you'll need to do this really simple tutorial. So um, to start with, what I'm actually going to do here, or what you're going to do, is you're going to make an LED blink. So there's the LED. I'll just show you that. It's just a really simple LED. And you'll need to get a yellow one. These are really, really cheap. Um, you can get them off eBay. Um, so yeah, an LED. You're going to need a resistor again really really cheap this is a 47 ohm resistor and that's a bit of a weird number I know but um yeah you need a 47 ohm resistor so what's the rest of this stuff this is a mini USB cable and I'll explain that in a second why you need that and this is called a breadboard you can get these really cheap um, again from eBay about a pound or two pound or something like that uh, so this is a breadboard and basically what you do is you you push components into it and um, basically these these things here are sort of wired together um, with strands of um, conductive material metal or something like that so they act as wires basically so that's a breadboard you stick components into it um, so you're going to need one of those and um, you also need one of these so this is pretty much what my videos are all about this is a microcontroller and they're surprisingly cheap. You can easily pick these up, and uh, yeah, they're not expensive, maybe a few pounds, something like that. And um, this is basically the brains of the operation. Um, this is pretty much the main point uh, or the main component in all of my videos. So, on here, there's a chip, and we're going to manipulate this chip to do something. In this case, we're going to manipulate it to make that LED blink. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to keep it really, really simple. Okay. So to start with, let's have a quick look at this microcontroller. So this thing is called an Arduino Nano. And uh, it's what I'd recommend for new people. There are different ones. There's Arduino Pro Mini, Arduino Uno, etc. But Arduino Nano is really good for beginners. Um, it's really simple to use. And uh, I won't go into it too much. But yeah, if you're starting, get an Arduino Nano. So, the first thing you can see here is caution, static sensitive devices not to be handled by unauthorised personnel, YX. So to start with, be certain you get permission from somebody who's authorised. Hey Lara, can I open this? Yes! Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's open it up. So what have we got here? So this is the Arduino Nano. And uh, the way it works is there's a little chip on there, which is, like I said earlier, the, the brain of the, the whole thing. There's a little switch on here, and there's a USB socket. So, earlier I mentioned about that micro, uh, sorry, not micro, mini USB. And what you do is basically you plug one end in here and plug the other end into a PC or a laptop. And that's basically all there is to that, uh, or for the time being anyway. And these little holes here, these are for you to solder on these. Now you can actually you can actually buy these pre-soldered and they're not much more expensive. Maybe it's an extra pound or something. So um, if you don't want to solder or you haven't got a soldering iron just buy the uh, pre-soldered one and you won't need to do any more soldering. That's why we've got the breadboard. Basically you just put these in like this and then solder it up and I'll show you how now. So for those of you who have uh, bought the pre-soldered one you can probably skip a minute or two and uh, and follow along from there.
So for those of you who are going to solder it yourself, um, this is what I usually do. I usually just push this, uh, temporarily put the pins in, uh, then push it into a breadboard and it sort of holds it for you. It makes it a lot easier. So I suppose I should zoom in a bit more so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got some very fine solder. Just move this along a bit. And I usually start from the uh, furthest away first. Uh, sometimes if your solder iron gets dirty, just uh, I just whack it on a hard surface, uh, surface the plastic bit, and uh, the rubbish comes off. Okay, I'll just check that that's uh, that's okay. You can see all the pins are soldered on. Um, and it's pretty good. They need snipping off really, those sharp bits. It's not ideal, but uh, but whatever, it's on. So I'm going to reverse it now and then solder the other side on. I can get this thing out. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. So I turn it around now and solder the other side. And it's the same, same idea really. Okay, there's another little trick as well, and that's to... When you're soldering, if something's not uh, holding still, you can use blue tack. I use it all the time. See, that will be much easier now. Just put a bit of blue tack underneath it. Okay. And let's carry on. So, most difficult one first, which is that one. And that's done, so I'll just knock the rubbish off the soldering iron and then switch it off, and we're done with soldering. Okay, so you might be thinking now, well, wouldn't you need to solder the LED, solder the LED and the resistor? Um, but you actually don't. We've got this breadboard for uh, connecting things together now. So from, from now on, um, we won't need to solder, so I'll just get rid of the blue tack and everything. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, so we've got the Arduino Nano pushed into the breadboard now, and the next thing we want to do is add in the LED. So if you just take your LED, you'll notice that there's a long side and a short side. Well, the long side is plus and the short side is negative. So what we want to do is get the long side and just push it into where it says D2. So you'll see that there's... Um, these little holes and the way the holes go is they sort of run that way they're all linked all those holes are linked like that in a line so all on that line are all linked together so anyway push the the long side into any other holes for D2 and then just join it over to this rail in this way in these rails here these run the other way these are all linked together that way horizontally if we say that's vertically these are all linked together that way so push it in like that. Okay, so I'll just move this a little bit closer so you can see. So where D2 is, I've got the LED, the long side, pushed in, and then the short side is in the rail. Like that. Okay. So now, get your resistor, and then the hole next to the minus of the LED, push the resistor in there, and then push the other side into the ground um, the ground side, the ground pin, if you like. So like this. So it's in the same rail as the minus pin of the LED here, and then over here it's going to ground. And what's going to happen is that D2 is going to provide it with a voltage, and um, it's going to go. The circuit is going to be from D2 across here then through the resistor and to ground. 
Okay, so what you need to do next is to plug the mini USB in, like that, and then plug the mini USB into the computer or your laptop as well. Okay, so the way this works is there's a hardware side and a software side. And we've done the hardware side, it's all wired up, but now we need the software side. And what I mean by the software side is that you've got to write a small program uh, which gets flashed onto the little chip. So what I mean by flashed is basically you write a program and it gets put onto the chip and then the chip uh, runs that program constantly which you write. So anyway, to be able to do this you need some software and the software is called Arduino Studio. So if you just go to a search engine and type in Arduino or Arduino CC you'll see the Arduino um, homepage. So let's just go on to that and then go to software and then go to download the Arduino IDE so if you just go to, I mean most of you will be using Windows I'd imagine so uh, click on Windows installer and then it asks you for a contribution uh, these people work really really hard to create this Arduino software so um, so download this software, just go to just download or, or whatever you want to do and um, it will take some time okay so when it's downloaded click on it and it should come up opening Arduino, uh, would you like to install yes and then what will happen is it's not going to work with me uh, because I've already got it installed but what will happen is that it will ask you to install and you'll have to just press next 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 ok install etc and then when it's finished you should find that there's an icon a bit like this probably on your desktop and this icon here uh, this blue icon with a white infinity symbol that's Arduino Studio so if it's um, so yeah maybe you'll have to go to Windows and then type in Arduino it's more than likely on your desktop though but anyway when you've got it um, click on or double click into the uh, icon Arduino Studio and then this will come up so um, just to make sure go to file and then new and a new one will come up and basically this is where you write in the code to be able to flash over to the Arduino so at this point you've got the Arduino plugged in at least I think you have so go to tools and then go to board and then in this boards area here make sure you choose Arduino Nano because that's the that's what we're using Arduino Nano and um, just make sure everything's the same as how I've got it here so processor 80 mega 328 which it should be set to that anyway and then programmer select AVR ISP mark 2 the other one will probably work too but this is just the one I use so um, yeah when it's plugged in let me just make sure mine's plugged in there we go you'll have to choose a port so tools and then port now if you've got several ports you're gonna have to work out which port it is but for me I've only got one and it's COM port 4 so select the, the port that's appropriate and then let's start writing code I'm not gonna go too mad about um, explaining what's going on here but um, I'll keep it simple so let's start we'll write pin mode open bracket 2 and then output. Don't worry, this, this is a very, very um, simple program. We're almost done actually. So, um, what that means is when the program first starts, set pin 2 to be an output pin. In other words, we want to control uh, its output. We're using it to output to something. Okay, so then in loop, now this code here, loop, repeats forever. Um, Anyway, so what we want to write in here is digital write pin 2 high. So that means get pin 2 and set it high or on, you could call it on. Um, then we want to delay the program for 1000 milliseconds. Delay uses milliseconds, which is a thousandth of a second. So one thousand thousandths of a second is one second then digital right pin 2 low and then we want another delay of one second and 
that's all there is to it to this sketch that's the sketch complete sometimes they call it a sketch or uh, program whatever you want to call it so um, what we're doing here is basically turn the LED on high means on then we're waiting for one second with it on then we're writing low in other words turn the LED off then we're waiting for one second and then we repeat loop repeats so just repeat forever so what will happen is that our LED will start blinking so it will be on for a second then off for a second so anyway now you've done this just click upload there um, it might ask you to save it I'll save it there so it will say uploading to IO uh, board and it will say compiling sketch and then it will come up with all this here and then ah, there you go done uploading so that was really fast okay so if we go back over to the Arduino now you can see that it's blinking and um, it's blinking according to what we had written in that little program there so um, yeah I hope you like the video that's a really really simple introduction into Arduino and this is basically what I'm doing um, on my videos so okay it was fairly easy and it's not anything special but um, Hopefully you found it easy enough and hopefully you can understand uh, where this leads really. Um, and you can go as far as you want with this. You can do extremely complicated things with it um, involving all sorts of different things. You can uh, work with batteries, you can work with LCD screens, uh, you can work with sound, you can work with all sorts. You can work with power, so switching things on or off. You can uh, work with remotes. Uh, radio control, all sorts of different things and um, lots of phones and uh, little devices like that actually run off chips not too dissimilar to this chip you're actually using here right now uh, lots of devices use these sorts of microcontroller chips anyway so um, I hope you like the tutorial and I hope it was useful so thank you for watching bye